hello everybody so today we are going to discuss about the common uh, common emergencies so in common emergencies we are just going to discuss about the respiratory emergencies so actually uh, what is the definition of the respiratory emergencies so mainly respiratory emergencies are, are those in which the person is desperating to have a breath or may feel that he may not going to have the next breath so a uh, respiratory emergencies there is a common respiratory emergencies that is uh, bronchitis bronchial asthma copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and respiratory ar uh, arrest insufficiency when the person feels insufficiency of breath so first we are going to discuss about the bronchitis so what the bronchitis is and what is the definition of the bronchitis mainly uh, we can say that in all the types of the respiratory diseases and emergencies we can say as a common emergencies there is uh, an inflammation mucus formation and the narrowing of the tubules so uh, let's see the bronchitis it is an inflammation of the lining of the bronchial tubes bronchial tubes which can arises from the lungs right trachea trachea to lungs that tubes inflammation of that tubes which carry air from the lungs right so bronchitis is further of two types acute bronchitis and chronic bronchitis you may know the difference between an acute and chronic acute is a disease uh, for the shortest time and the chronic diseases is for the long time so in uh, acute bronchitis there is the productive cough and the shortness of breath and in the chronic bronchitis the patient also feel chest pain and chest discomfort so next is the bronchial asthma so the definition of the bronchial asthma it is in chronic lung disease in which there is the narrowing of the airway the airway which carries air from lungs that can get narrowed so due to the narrowing of the airway the patient feel difficulty in breathing right and after difficulty in breathing the patient must feel chest pain then there is a copd copd is the combination of the four diseases we can say it is a emphysema emphysema is the damaging of the al alveoli then chronic bronchitis we already done and refractory asthma and the severe bronchiectasis so it is the copd is a combination of the four different diseases in which the airway can loses the elastic quality so the airway lungs can lose their elastic quality and the airway make more mucus than usual that's why there is a obstruction in the airway due to the obstruction the patient must feel difficulty in the breathing that's why it's known as the respiratory emergency so the fourth one uh, respiratory emergency is the respiratory arrest and insufficiency the harding must clear that the patient must having the breath cessation cessation means absence of the breath so it is the main medical emergency we can say so uh we here also discuss about the symptoms of the respiratory emergencies so how you can um know that the patient is suffering from a respiratory emergency you must know the signs and symptoms of that disease so the commonly signs and symptoms are the abnormal noises wheezing sounds fast breathing deep and shallow breathing and pale sign nostex skin okay you can feel by touching the skin of the patient the patient skin must be pale and cyanotic right and cool you can feel the calmy cool skin of the patient then the pain and the tightness in the chest stress these are all the common symptoms of the respiratory emergencies you have to assess and then we can know about the causes of the respiratory emergencies main main causes are uh, hyperventilation and airway obstruction airway obstruction is just because the uh, more mucus production or any other uh we can also say that the obstruction due to the swelling of any other foreign object asthma allergic reactions toxic substance inhalation heart failure is an all some main cause of the respiratory arrest tobacco smoking gastro esophageal reflux disease you may know and viral and bacterial infection are all the common causes of the respiratory emergencies 
so here we have done our topic i hope you must clear with all this topic so further in next video we are talking about the cardiac emergencies thank you very much and uh, if you really like and love my videos then please subscribe and like my videos thank you